welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to learn more about coroutines and we are going to run them in sequence so as we know whenever you are running coroutines like uh, coroutine 1 and coroutine 2 so when you run them they run in a parallel way if uh, resources are there okay so but there are times when you have to run them in a sequence or in certain order so to achieve that uh, we are going to use channels and we'll see how it works so this is one of the very favorite questions nowadays in uh, Golang interview. They can ask you to write a program to print numbers from 1 to 10 in a sequence using two go routines. So one go routine going to print even numbers and the another go routine is going, going to print the odd numbers. So that's kind of a tricky if you don't know. So as we know like whenever we run go routines so they run in a parallel but the requirement here is like uh, first, uh, we have to run the GoRoutine 1 or print the output from GoRoutine 1 then the GoRoutine 2 then the GoRoutine 1 and 2 and so on and so forth So let's get started So what we are going to do is like first we'll simply create two function even and odd and then we are just running them in a separate GoRoutine and we'll see uh, what output it gives So we'll have one even function uh, which is going to run from i equals to 2 to less than equals to 10 and we are going to increment it by 2 and then we'll simply print it and in the same way we are going to add the odd function and i equals to 1 so now let's just run these two uh, functions in a separate coroutines using go keyword and uh, have a sleep timer so that we'll give enough time to these go routines to complete so time dot second and one second is one second is more than enough so let's just see so as we can see the it first printed the even number and the then the odd number if we try again yeah yes so if you can see sometime it is two four six one three five seven nine eight ten so there is no specific order so to get a specific order uh, what we can do is like we can use the channels so what how it will work is like one channel will tell the another go routine like okay i have completed the job of the go routine one so you can now proceed so in the same way the go routine 2 once it completes the its execution it will tell the go routine 1 using another channel like uh, like my execution is done so in that way so let's create two channels uh, one is event channel and another going to be the odd channel so we are going to use the make keyword or uh, and bo boolean is more than enough and then another channel of same type so whenever this main program will exit so before that we want to close this channel so that uh, it will not uh, occupy the memory so for that what we are going to use we are going to use defer keyword with close function and the channel name so even channel another defer and close odd channel so in this way our channel uh, will clean up then we need two channel here so even channel odd channel and those going to be of chain boolean okay and in the same way we need for the odd channel so the first channel is going to be odd channel second one is the even chain boolean Okay, so let's just pass it even channel first odd channel then the odd channel then the even channel so what we are going to do is like this even function will wait for the odd channel to uh, to tell like the odd function has completed the execution so for that we are going to use this uh, less than dash operator okay and it will take out uh, it will listen to the odd channel okay 
so whatever it is returning so that is not important for us so that value we can ignore so once this for loop uh, starts so it will wait for this odd channel uh, for some values and it will keep uh, it will keep waiting and in other words you can say like it blocks the go routine so to uh, to resume it what we have to do is like in the odd function like after printing the i we have to send some value to the odd channel so in this way we can say true so what will happen is like once this odd channel will print something it will send the true value and then this uh, odd channel here so it got the value so it means this go routine is now resumed and now it will print the println i uh, or the even value so in the same way we have to do for the even channel so so this odd go routine uh, going to wait for the even channel okay and this even function when it will print the even value we will send some value in it so even channel true in this way so this will take care of our sequence so now when we will start it so that time both the uh, channels are waiting for some value so there is no trigger point okay and after two after one second uh, this main go routine will end so that time it will not print anything so just check it go run main dot go and if you can see it is not printing anything and it exited so the reason being uh, because the both the go routines are waiting for some value in the in the channel so to resolve it what we can do is like we can uh, trigger it so we have to start it from one so we will send some value in the even channel so even channel true in this way and now if we'll try we can see it printed one two three four till ten in a sequence we can try it again yeah so using channels now you can run the multiple go routines in a sequence or in a synchronous order okay so now let's just modify it a little bit to make it more uh, production ready kind of thing so the first thing is like this time dot sleep is not a great way to wait for the go routines because suppose if the go ch uh, even channel is taking more than one second so that time it will not wait for this uh, this particular go routine to complete and it will exit so for that we'll use the wait group so for the wait group uh, what we can do is like we can use a, a global variable wg of sync dot wait group okay and uh, this one what we are going to do we will initiate it here and uh, as we are going to initiate two go routines we'll add two group go routines here or like the counter like how many go routines it has to wait to complete so it it going to be two and uh, at the time dot sleep what we are going to do is going we'll just tell it to wait okay and uh, in the in the each function once their execution is completed we have to tell like this execution is completed so use uh, wait group wg dot done okay so what this done will do is like the counter which we have created here like the counter is now two it means like go two go routines are running okay so when we will uh, run this uh, done function that time it will decrease the counter by one okay so now the uh, it will be one okay and then when the odd go routines will complete that time also we will tell uh, reduce the counter by one so now the counter are zero so this way uh, wg dot wait uh, will learn like okay both go routines has completed their execution so it can exit okay so there is one issue in this thing so let's uh, run it and see so go run main dot go So if you can see it printed all the uh, numbers in sequence okay but after that it is giving some error like all the go routines are asleep and it is a deadlock okay so 
this particular condition i'll explain in the another video where where i am going to cover this weight group like how to use it and all okay so the thing is uh, in short the thing is like uh, if you can see so once this even suppose this even is uh, completed okay so this go routine is now uh, not running okay and uh, this even channel is trying to push uh, so this even channel is also kind of a closed okay uh, or not active but this odd go routine is still listening to something okay this even channel so this particular uh, situation okay where this odd go routine is expecting something from even channel but there is no go routine which will send something in it okay so this is what leads to this deadlock okay so to resolve it what we can do is like instead of using this unbuffered channel we can use a buffered channel and we can just simply give a buff buffered size of one so now what will happen is like uh, it has some space to get certain uh, input in it and wait for it okay so now let's just see and see that error is gone i hope you like this lecture and in the upcoming videos we are going to cover lot of this kind of concepts uh, preferably the interview questions and we are going to build multiple projects also